Firstly, let's cheer ourselves up with some warm words from familiar old faces. Exi Okozuna Haruma Fuji celebrated his 36th birthday last Tuesday and posted a Twitter message for his many Japanese fans. Everybody, as part of our virus prevention measures, please make sure to wash your hands and wear masks properly, he began. If you're fit and healthy, you can do anything, so above all else, please stay fit and healthy. We also had a message from this man, whose record-breaking 290 kilo frame was rather difficult to forget. The first ever professional sumo wrestler from Russia, Aurora, tweeted to report a loss of 100 kilos since his retirement 19 months ago. His new, sleek 190 kilo body can be seen in several photos he's posted, lifting weights and logs as part of his new fitness program. Sports Hochi mourns the loss of his legendary sumo eating habit, 250 pieces of sushi, yakiniku for 50, an entire crate of tangerines in one day, but wishes him well in his bid to reduce his weight further. He'll be turning 37 next Sunday. Now, what of our active wrestlers? Well, they've just finished their first week of exclusively non-contact training, and it looks like the situation will continue next week also, according to the latest interview given by Press Chief Shibatayama. In the wake of the first and only virus case thus far, 10 days ago, Sumo Stables were given a four-point checklist to determine whether or not wrestlers should train. The four points being, has the wrestler met the temperature check criteria for this morning? Are his airways clear? Does he report any loss of taste or smell? And is he feeling languid for any reason? Should any one of these points prove a cause for concern for two days running, a report must be made to Sumo's crisis management chief, Kagamiyama Oyakada, who will then consult the association's medical advisor on the next steps. Lower division wrestlers showing mild symptoms should be withdrawn from communal life and made to isolate in a private room. And even if everyone present is healthy, large group meals around the chanko pot are now to be avoided. For the record, the sole infected wrestler continues to be stable and should be discharged from hospital next week. His infection route remains unknown. Sankei Sports informs us that Friday's Sumo Executive Committee meeting to discuss the May tournament was cancelled, along with the Wrestlers Committee meeting slated for April the 28th, and the new recruit physicals scheduled for the same day. Shibatayama announced that no activities outside the stable are scheduled to take place for the remainder of the state of emergency, which is next up for review on May the 6th. For now, nearly all Samoa Association staff are working from home as Japan's total virus infections speed past 10,000, even with a very low testing rate. Sadly for us, especially because we were going to travel up and film it, the Kanazawa High School competition scheduled for May the 24th, at which Saitama Sakai would have competed, has also been cancelled for the first time since 1945. The state of emergency has now been expanded nationwide, meaning that every sumo stable and tournament location is subject to it. Finally, two positives. First, a positive of sorts. The Samoa Association has finally come to an under-the-table agreement with the Osaka-based tea houses regarding lost revenue during the previous tournament. The tea houses, whose decades-long iron grip on box seats hardly makes the heart bleed, will nevertheless be compensated for some of the pre-ordered merchandise they were unable to sell. And finally, an unquestionable positive, Tatsunami Stable has earned the plaudits of Tsukuba City, Ibaraki, where it's located, after donating sumo wrestler Yukata fabric for the making of face masks, 2,500 of which have now been dispensed to local citizens. <laughs>